Avasar, telecasting global opportunity. Hello and namaste. Welcome to Avasar program. I'm your regular host Sunil Avasari and the show is all about education, educational news, views and interviews. Today I'm going to talk about studying in Australia. Why international students could have choose Australia for their higher education and vocational course. To give you full information about it, we have very special guest from Australia who is none other than Justin Foote. He is looking after Kent Institute of Australia uh, as a CEO. Let's welcome him to the show. Justin, you are welcome on our show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, Sunil. Okay, especially talking about your visit for this time in Nepal. Would you please elaborate something about it? Yes, certainly. Look, uh, with Australia borders reopened, it's important to travel to Nepal as one of the key recruitment areas for Australia for international students. Kent Institute Australia has many agent representatives here in Nepal that recruit students, Nepalese students, to come to Australia. So the purpose of the visit is to meet potential students, talk to them about living in Australia, studying in Australia, what their expectations would be, about Kent Institute Australia courses, and also to guide the agents that represent Kent on how to promote our courses. Okay. You have vast experience in academia. Even you have uh, some of the Asian uh, like experience as well. So in this case, how you are trying to deliver global standard education, especially vocational and higher education in Kent, Kent Institute Australia. Yeah, thank you. Look, Kent Institute Australia is unique in that it's a dual sector provider. So it is both vocational with the uh, regulator, Australian uh, Skills Quality Authority, so that's ASQA, and also the Higher Education Authority, TEXA. We are a boutique provider with a long history of accreditation. So we've been in operation for some 30 years plus delivering training and courses to international students. We have some 13,000 graduates already, which are our alumni, and we can take at any time around 2,000 students. So we pride our course delivery courses to be current, industry relevant, and ensure the graduate outcomes for any student that undertakes them. Okay, especially students are really interested to know something about the updated course and latest courses in Australia. In this case, what sort of the popular courses are there in Kent Institute Australia? Mm, Kent is uh, specialising in IT, business and accounting. We've actually recently added health to that as well in doing aged care courses. The most popular though is IT at the moment. And IT, um, you know, there's many job opportunities in Australia. There's opportunities for Nepalese students to bring those skills back to Nepal and or as a permanent residency pathway in Australia. But the up and coming will certainly be health. And with an ageing population across many countries, there will be need for upskilling in that area. Okay, let's flash back the COVID situation once, especially how do Kent Institute Australia coping internationally student at the pandemic situation? Mm. Yeah, very good question. Look, yeah, COVID was thrust upon us very quickly and everybody had to be very agile in how we uh, delivered our training of courses and also how we looked after the students. Delivery of courses continued in the same manner in that they were delivered instead of the classroom, they were delivered online. But the same curriculum was taught to the students. The most important part though was to facilitate the transition of the student to a Zoom environment in their home, wherever they may be. Students also ran into financial difficulty, they needed support, they needed counselling in regards to um, how to cope with that situation. So Kent Institute Australia provided that in a number of ways. We commenced with um, COVID care packages for all of our students where we sent them gifts and just activities that they could do to keep their, their mind occupied on things. We sent them financial relief incentives, so discount for tuition fees. We even deferred the tuition fees for students in Australia. The Australian government also had food care packages for those students, um, but most importantly, it was about ensuring the mental well-being and health of the students to ensure that they could continue their course online and achieve those outcomes. So. We had counsellors available. We increased that um, in providing that service to the students. So we actually had a really good uh, progression rate during that period. 
students weren't dropping out, they were completing courses and completing them you know, with higher grades than ever and that was based on what we provided to them during that period. Thank you so much for such an informative uh, information. So, especially talking about our journey program, we are time and again visiting in the US, Australia, UK, India and even popular study destinations and students are often sharing about their uh, like international student community, um, uh, university college ambience and international care unit as well. In this case, how Kent Institute Australia is nurturing its environment, ambience and education system to favour international students. Yeah, so Kent's core business is international students. So we have many measures in place for them from their pre-arrival to arrival in country to facilitating their journey throughout their study of their courses to ensure their progression. We do have um, communities, we have Nepalese communities as part of one of the cohorts, but we also have student representative groups. Most importantly, our classes are made up of diverse um, countries of students. Nepal students is a major cohort, but they are also you know, from India, from Indonesia, from Vietnam, from Japan, South Korea, European countries and Latin America. So that gives a Nepalese student a great opportunity to immerse themselves not only in the Australian culture, but Australia which represents itself as a multicultural society. They can study in a classroom where they can mix with other cultures, learn the Australian way, but actually form new friendships, bonds, and learn from other cultures at the same time. So especially talking about Nepalese student community there in Australia, they are doing very like um, hard work mm. and doing very well. What is your experience with Nepali students? Yeah, well Nepalese students have had a long history with, with Kent Institute Australia and education in general in Australia. South Asia is a key market for Australia for international education. India, Nepal. Nepal students, Nepalese students, academically actually do very well. And it's part of the, the upbringing and the cultural upbringing and the focus on academia that the parents instill in the students. And we nurture that and progress that for their journey. We've seen some great success with our alumni, which is well represented by Nepalese students. And we even have Kathmandu born and bred employees that have migrated to Australia over the years and become prominent employees for Kent Institute. So there is a really good um, examples of success for Nepalese students coming to Australia and studying at Kent Institute. Okay, so in terms of scholarship options and opportunities, how Kent Institute Australia is uh, providing scholarships for international students? Yeah, look, we, we always do provide scholarships. We do that in the form of a bursary. Um, so based on a, a certain um, grade point average being achieved in their year 11 and year 12, students would be eligible for a bursary, which is 20% discount off the tuition fees. So there is an eligibility criteria, but we do find especially from Nepal that the students we take are of a quality student that meet that minimum GPA requirement and do get direct access to that bursary for the duration of their whole course. So it's really uh, informative information for students and parents, those who are uh, trying to catch best institute in Australia. So to give uh, overall uh, professional horizon to the graduate student, how Kent Institute Australia is collaborating with other institutions as well. Kent Institute Australia is very fortunate that it's a dual sector provider, so vocational and higher education. So we have pathways for any vocational students into our higher education courses. We partner with many institutes that only offer vocational and they actually have pathways into our higher education courses through articulation agreements. So we do partner with institutes in that manner and also with English pathway colleges. The extensive thing that we do partner with is industry. So we work closely with industry to ensure our currency of our courses meet industry requirements, but also that students have the opportunity to work with industry in undertaking capstone projects as part of their course and or on completion of the course, they have the opportunity to do an internship where they can go and 
do a, a work placement for up to a 12 week period and really apply the skills and knowledge from their course and gain the employability skills in the workplace with industry. We see that as the most crucial of the partnerships. And a minimum of 50% uh, of those students actually are offered a full-time job from those host companies. So Kent Institute Australia has a wide network of, uh, of industry providers that we work with to nurture and progress that. So you are here to share uh, the fresh information um, after pandemic, what sort of the business statistical plan are there? You are going to meet with a number of agents here in Kathmandu. So how you are going to promote Kent Institute Australia in Nepal market? Yeah, the, the key thing is that Kent promotes itself as a quality education provider, one with a long history of success. We are boutique in that, uh, you know, we're not the size of a university, we're an institute. And so therefore we have smaller class sizes with approximately 25 students. We have an excellent track record of success for those students. We are an assessment level one provider. So that means our visa approval rate is exceptionally high. And that is because we only take quality students. So that is something that we do promote. We promote the outcomes to students and the way we nurture them through their journey, all the additional side support things we do, whether that's academic learning support, career counsellors, wellbeing coordinators. You know, the journey is not just about the academics, it's the whole um, cycle that we offer. And that, that's what we promote in recruiting quality students, which are here in Nepal, and we nurture that to ensure their success and completion when they come to Australia. Especially Jupiter Media, Media is trying to link all uh, national and international educational institutions to uh, provide fresh information to target group, student and parents. Regarding this, we are going to feature Destination Australia program in month of July in Australia. What is your wishes on this? Oh, well, for you to visit Australia and our modern campuses in Sydney and Melbourne, we would certainly welcome that on behalf of Kent Institute Australia. But it's not just about one institute or one education provider, it's about all you know, providers getting together. And um, you know, for Australia to be a success and compete with other top tier education countries such as USA, UK and Canada, it's about everybody doing the right thing, recruiting quality students, providing quality education and quality outcomes. Kent Institute Australia is one that can do it, but you know, we need everybody to be on that same page to ensure Australia's success as a destination. Yeah, great. So thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. At last, what is your message to the prospective student and parents, those who are trying to get a good institution in Australia? Yeah, to parents, look, I'm, as a parent myself, I can really tell a parent that when their student, if they choose Kent Institute Australia or that be it another education provider, that they are going to be looked after for their entire journey. Their number one reason for coming to Australia is to study. That's why they are granted a student visa. It's also about immersing themselves in a different culture and learning about that culture and the way of life and the way of business. And we believe that we can really uh, provide the students, their students, with that experience. We can provide them all the support they want and t parents can have that trust that the students will complete their course and then progress in their career journey based on the experience they have, whether they bring their skills back to Nepal or whether they decide to stay in Australia and progress to permanent residency, both are avenues that we promote. Okay, we're quite happy to having you on this common platform so that it's really clear why a student um, could have to Australia, especially Kent Institute Australia. Thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you very much. Awasar, telecasting global opportunity.